Since 2006, the Austrian association Life Earth, in cooperation with the private technical college Lienz, has been working in Tanzania on various projects. Both institutions have made it their task to aid in the development of Tanzania, mainly in a technical way by building photovoltaic plants. In this way, they support educational and health institutions. Thus, education becomes available for many and lives can be saved in emergencies simply because there is electricity. Tanzania is an East African state and is home to about 41 million people. The capital is the Doma, with the seat of the government in Dar es Salaam. More than 100 different languages are being spoken in Tanzania. The official language is Swahili. Tanzania is experiencing a strong growth in population. On average, a woman has 5.3 children. At the moment, about 44% of the Tanzanian population are under 15 years. Hence, one can expect a further growth in population. However, widespread poverty and the spreading of AIDS are increasing the death rate. We are now looking at some of the projects supported by Life Earth and the Technical College Lienz the installation and servicing of photovoltaic plants. The major aim is to train young Tanzanians so that they are capable of servicing the plants and, if necessary, repairing them. The idea behind this is the principle of help towards self-help. It is of the utmost importance for Life Earth and the Technical College Lienz to aid locals in being qualified specialists so that the various projects can be integrated into Tanzanian society long term and sustainably. So far, five photovoltaic plants in various regions of Tanzania have been put into operation. This way, a continuous supply of electricity for the different health and educational institutions can be guaranteed. Samson Limo is 33 years old and a photovoltaic technician. He works as a teacher in the Karanga Technical Training Center. Samson's training was financed by Life Earth and supervised by the Technical College Lienz. By now, Samson Limo has acquired a sound specialized knowledge in the field of photovoltaic technology and trains pupils himself. Additionally, he works as a service technician in St. Joseph's Hospital in Moshi and he's now explaining to us how a photovoltaic plant works. Tanesco Power coming here, go here, and the, both together I go into the uh, inverter and from there, the inverter uh, produces two, two output. If the, the, the Tanesco is not here, uh, the, 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 we can get the power from, from the solar, from photovoltaic, go direct from the bed, and from the bed there, go inside the, the inverter, and then we can get a, a, a power. Since the installation of the photovoltaic plant in St. Joseph's Hospital, up to 30 operations are being carried out per week. Before the opening of the plant operations often had to be interrupted due to a lack of electricity. In Kuala Konge, one of the poorest regions of Tanzania, a lot has been improved thanks to the support of Life Earth and the Technical College Lienz. The Health Center, which was founded in 2003 by the Rosmanen fathers, serves as a clinic. 
It was hard work for the Rosmanans to become accepted by the local people. The first project for Life Earth in Kuala Konga was to bring electricity to the Kuala Konga Health Center. For the Technical College Lians, it was an A-level project. Since electricity was installed in the health center, the quality of the medical service has improved tremendously and as a result, the number of patients has increased. The health center is the only hospital for about 20,000 people who live there and come mainly from the 14 Maasai villages in the region. It is not very easy because we have a lot of people from different areas, do you see? We have people with the denomination, different denominations, and they will really receive it in a different way. But it is only one thing, because we are receiving all people without discrimination. This is a Catholic, or this is a Muslim, or this is a Anglican, or something like that. We are receiving all as a people of God. We are all created by God. And we receive without looking that aspect. We are looking exactly what is the patient is suffering for. And uh, that one, we help them without even looking where it's coming from. You see, that is our, 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 our motto. After the installation of the photovoltaic systems in 2009, Life Earth could start to organize eye camps in cooperation with the doctors from the association Vision Without Frontiers. Five eye camps have taken place since 2010. More than 250 people got a cataract operation and an additional 2,000 people received treatment during these camps. Wonderful. Finally, we return to Moshi and visit the Karanga Technical Training Center, the KTTC. This is the true workplace of Samson Lemo. The KTTC is a vocational college of the diocese in Moshi. About 150 pupils are being taught there after having left secondary school. The young people get trained to become metal workers, carpenters, electricians, tailors or car mechanics. The first project of the Technical College Lians in Africa was the installation of a photovoltaic plant on the grounds of the KTTC. Samson is responsible for the servicing of this plant. Life Earth and the Technical College Lians continue to support him. Thus, the young technicians of the training center benefit from the existing infrastructure. The school day slowly comes to a close. Lessons take place Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm Paul Jemsi. I'm electrical. I'm studying electrical installation. I'm in second year now for my study. I come to Karanga Technical Center to, to get more knowledge for this study which is called electrical installation in order we can help me for, for my life. Maybe I can get to work in order to get money, in order that I can survive for my, to my life, no? We feel that education is the first and most important step to overcome poverty. On the one hand, it is important to have well-trained personnel for the children and young people. Seven days of the week. Together. Start from Monday. Monday. On the other hand, projects can only develop and expand if they are organized locally and receive support and supervising where they are located. Yet all the help seems only like the proverbial drop in the ocean at times. Nevertheless, 
with the support of Live Birth and the Technical College Lienz is much more than a mere drop in the ocean. This drop has become a flood, the result of which is the cooperation between Austria and Tanzania. Members of Life Earth and the Technical College Lienz work tirelessly and often with great devotion to alleviate the seemingly hopeless poverty. They make this wholehearted effort to bring hope and help to the people in Africa for a better world in a somehow better future.